So people are looking for ways to recover that. recover some of that cost, yeah. And do you think that kind of system would work now? Like the if you had insurance that would work or No. Personally, that's just my personal opinion. No. That's a, that's a tough one. Um, you know, it, it, people people buy cars, people have homes, and they don't have insurance on them. They have liability insurance on a car, but they don't. If they get in a wreck, um, that insurance is to provide for someone that they may injure, but they don't. They're not getting a new car. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think that would be sustaining. Uh, people are more apt to not buy insurance in hopes that. They're not going to use it. All right. And uh, what would be a way that I could contribute, like, in my local area, I live in Long Lake Township, to make sure that our fire department can get some more funding? What would be something I could do to help with that? Something you could do to help, you know, on a, on a uh, Long Lake Township is a volunteer department, and they have paid members. Um, I, I believe they rely on a uh, pool of volunteers. Um, other departments that are small in nature across the country um, have pancake breakfasts, dinners, uh, garage sales, uh, women's auxiliary to, to assist with, with those types of things. Lots of fundraisers too capture money for equipment, for training, for gear, for you name it. So maybe organizing like a pancake breakfast or something would pancake be? Pancake breakfast. Um, yeah, you know, it's, uh, um, I, I belonged to a department before I came here, and um, there was 25, 25 people on it, and um, every spring we grabbed a bunch of stuff around the house that we didn't want and donated it to the fire department and had a garage sale. And made a couple thousand dollars, That's awesome. and that was used to buy equipment or bring someone, bring a, bring a someone in for training for a day um, on, on some specific topic. Um, other than that, running for public office—that's definitely—and um, making changes, making supporting your fire department, um, having good people underneath you, and making change way upstairs at the political level. That's where, that's where the power is. You know, you can throw pennies and nickels at the problem over here, or you can unfold paper up here. Mm Mm-hmm. Dollar bills. Yeah. That's, that's where the change comes in. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and uh, would you say that it is in any way unfair to the smaller townships because they don't have as much funding, or? It's a disadvantage, sure. I can tell you um, if you live in a rural area um, and you have a fire in your house, no, we'll just talk about fire. If you have a fire in your house, um, you may not have a water system to provide an adequate supply of water to put the fire out. Mm -hmm. You may not have a significant amount of trained staff to put the fire out. Um, When when you report the fire, call 911. Um, Just to give you for instance, here, when you call in the city of Traverse City, when you call 911, the dispatcher reaches over, pushes a few buttons, and tells us to respond to a fire at 125 Lincoln Street. We're out the door and on scene in less than three to four minutes. In a rural area where things are spread out, when that 911 dispatcher dispatches that station or that department, um, it may be, if no one's there, and they have to drive from their house to the station, and then from the station to their uh, to the to the incident. It could take eight minutes to fifteen minutes. Mm-hmm. That's already at a disadvantage. Yeah. Um, but those are choices people make. 
Mm -hmm. those, those are, you know, uh, if you live in a rural area, you may like it. Some people like the, the city environment uh, where, you know, you live closer to people, closer to restaurants, closer to doctors. A person in town can't, grow ca can't raise cattle. Mm -hmm. So if you like to raise cattle, you have to live in a rural area. It's, it's choices people make. And it's a trade-off. Yep. Essentially, yep. It's uh, now the person out in the rural area will pay more, and may will pay excuse me less in taxes for mm -hmm. fire protection than a person, let's say in a city, uh, because they're they're paying for. Here in Traverse City, they pay for a parks department, they pay for a police department, they pay for a fire department, they pay for a municipal water system, a municipal waste system. Um, those are those are benefits. You don't have those in Long Lake. You don't have a Long Lake Police Department. Mm -mm. <laughs> you don't have a municipal water system. You, you know, you probably live on a well in a septic system. Yep. So um, that you're responsible to pay for. Mm -hmm. um, so that's choices people make. Is it a disadvantage? It's not the same protection. Yeah. There's a difference in protection. Okay, and I was wondering if you knew, if you have any experience with this, I don't know if there's been any huge fires in like the Grand Traverse area recently, but when you need to call for help, if you ever have, from another county, how do the expenses get divvied, divvied up in that case? Uh, I, can, I can speak for what we have here. Um, we have what we call uh, mutual aid agreements. We have a, these mutual aid agreements already in place with Leelanau County. Um, I don't know if we have one with Benzie County, but Leelanau County, I know we do. Okay, that's the closest county. It's only a yeah. couple miles that way. Um, when we have this agreement already in place that says if if we need you, you're going to come, and if you need us, we're going to come, and there's going to be no um, payment expected. It's a wash. Uh -uh. It, it's just a wash. And that's kind of like what it's been for so long between the big departments and then the smaller ones. Correct. Correct. Uh, to, to, ex to, to go off on that a little bit, uh, Blair Township has advanced tremendously with their training um, and with their standards, um, they they have a transporting ambulance, where they if uh, you're sick, they can put you in an ambulance and transport you. Um, they have paramedics.